Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sip Club Sinislavl and you're watching Gender Core Chat and that face you just saw was an attempt uh, at uh, having a nice preview pic. I don't know when the preview pics on YouTube are chosen, uh, but hopefully I can find one uh, of the three choices you have that includes that face that I just made. Coming to you on a different camera, uh, normally uh, I'm talking to you on this thing right here and uh, so let me uh, turn on my highly complex and over engineered mirror and show you what you look like to me now um, so that's the mirror and that's what you look to me now um, and uh, so it's easy talking to myself because I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself and uh, but uh, talking to you everyone out on the internet all the gender queer feeling people all the gender queer identifying people who have searched for the word gender queer or uh, some other queer word in YouTube to find me and uh, so I'm going to use that as a segue into this week's topic, uh, which is a one word topic. This word is entitlement. And uh, entitlement is a word that uh, people, it's different than privilege, but it's very similar. And uh, in the uh, what I was just talking about before uh, about everyone finding me who searches for the word gender queer I think one entitlement I feel and one entitlement that may or not be rightfully felt uh, is that uh, I can speak for queer people and that's the thing with entitlement is thinking you're entitled to something often is countered by people thinking you have no right to be entitled to feel entitled why do you feel entitled to have an opinion over my life and uh, the entitlement i feel is that i have an opinion on my life this is my good side by the way and that's my bad side this is my good side that's my bad side i've been talking to you like this the entire time and uh so i'm going to talk to you from this, I guess, for this topic. So I can explore both these sides of my face. Um, you, uh, the thing with entitlement is things that you may feel entitled to. Um, okay, so, okay, so, all right. So um, I just sounded like a real fucking jerk with what I just said, but I want to explain. I don't feel entitled to, every, to have an opinion um, to every queer person's life to know what their life is like but um my uh my life is queer i identify as queer my relationships are queer uh there's a lot of queerness about my life uh gender queer being included in that and uh so i feel entitled to my own opinion about my own life but then i have this internal thinking right and uh i think um that uh you know just because i feel it other people surely must feel it because uh, other people with a similar experience must have the same opinions must feel the same way as I do because I feel it and that's a that's a really difficult thing to not do <laughs> a really fucking difficult thing to not do I had an argument uh, with one of my closest friends uh, which scared the shit out of me having this argument with her um, about an entitled opinion I had on an aspect of her life that I had no business in feeling entitled uh, to having an, an opinion on because I couldn't experience this part of her life that uh, I, uh, I mean, it wasn't a spoken entitlement necessarily, but it was something that did affect the way that we interacted. And uh, so... Yeah, we had uh, we got into a bit of an argument about that, and uh, so we were working past that 
entitlement that I thought and um, I felt and didn't realize that I felt. And uh, so I guess what I'm saying is the hardest thing for me, being a queer person, being a gender queer person, the hardest thing for me is not speaking for every queer person because all our experiences are different. Um, there's a there's enough information to be had in this world that the development in life of every individual is completely different. Even if they're fucking twins, growing up in the same house, sharing the same, well, trading beds, I don't know. Twins sharing a bed seems weird to me, but like if they traded beds or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, even if you're really fucking similar, your life is still different. And uh, so uh, be entitled, feel entitled to speak about your own life. But um, don't feel entitled to speak about anyone's life. I think it was laid back BBQ, who's on YouTube here, a trans man who is fucking awesome and you should watch all his videos because they're top notch. Laid back BBQ or laid back GQ or laid back something, I forgot what it was, uh, said that uh, have faith in people's ability to identify, to self identify. Have faith that they know themselves better than you know them. So that's what entitlement means to me. Don't feel entitled over other people's lives. Just feel enti be entitled, just feel entitled to share your own life. And uh, that's the hardest thing to do. And that's something that I will always work on. And it's something that I'm guilty of not doing uh, a lot. <laughs> but you gotta work on that. Um, because it's the only thing that can bring people in. It's the only thing that can, you know, it's the only thing that can welcome people in if you don't, if you have no feeling of entitlement over how they live their life or opinions about them, because they don't need that. You know, they're capable of thinking about their own life for themselves. They might value your input on that, but don't feel entitled. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's my topic. Uh, let me know which side looks better. I've been talking on this side, but this side I guess is not too bad, but uh, this side I'm more comfortable with. It sucks when you have the smoosh face pictures with people and you both have the same good side and why does everyone have a good side and a bad side that's so peculiar? Well, when you both have the same good side, like there's a compromise that needs to be had there because one of you is going to be taken, uh, have their picture taken with their bad side. So uh, take care, everyone, and uh, good night. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.